So here we are in the London cab again, this time I am with the director Gillis McKinnon. Uh, no stranger here to the film festival, in fact if I'm right, you won the very first Hitchcock back in oh, the early 90s with the film The Grass Arena, is that That's correct? That's great, yeah. Yeah, really. so I've a actually got... Ago. It was, but I think you probably, we've certainly shown your films since then oh, as yeah, well. Oh yeah, quite a number of films, yeah. yeah. So last night was the showing of Whiskey Galore, it's a remake. I remember the original. Mm. Well, uh, you weren't alive when it was made. It was no. made 67 years ago. Was it? I would have said it was the 40s or yeah, 46 people, or people something. People always say that. It's, it's 49 it was made. Yeah. So that makes it uh, 49, I think it was made. So that makes about 67 years. Well, that just goes to show how old I'm getting. We're going to cut, <laughs> we're gonna cut, we're gonna cut that one from, from the edit. So what inspired you to remake this film? Well, it wasn't my idea, it was the producer's idea. I think that he's a man in his 50s, but I think he's had this idea since he was a schoolboy. He comes from Lewis up in the Outer Hebrides. Yeah. And Ian, I guess it was his passion. I mean, you know, this is something that most directors can't do is hold on and try to make a film for whatever it was, 10 or 12 years, get up every day, look in the mirror and say, I'm going to make this movie. That's what he did. And in the end, Against all the odds, when everybody said give it up, yeah. he finally got the movie made, pri private finance, and he made the movie. Well, I have to say, I mean, it was beautifully filmed. I don't know who your screenplay guy, or you, you know, who your cinematographer was, but the, the image on the screen just poetry for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the cast, not terribly well known, uh, no. but, but, but perfect in their roles, I thought. Yeah, I mean, you know, we had a couple of people there. There was Eddie, is that obviously? Of oh, course, Eddie, yeah. yeah. And uh, Gregor Fisher. Who uh, is somebody who I've always and James Cosmo, of course, as well. and James Cosmo yeah. and John Sessions. You know, you know they're so all. So I'm kind saying of there's nobody really known, but in fact, and in fact, uh, uh, just before the festival started, and Dino was doing its own festival, and we showed Lady in the Band, was it? No, absolutely anything. And of course, Eddie takes a role in that, so his face would have already been familiar to our mm -hmm. Dean our goers as well. So have you got other projects in the pipeline that you can bring to us? I have other projects in the pipeline. It's very difficult to get films made, um, as any filmmaker will tell you, but I've got my projects. I've got one set in Glasgow uh, that I'm just going to start taking out now and seeing if I can get film, that made. film Scotland must be quite supportive uh, of... Well, we'll see. Of their own, <laughs> as it were. We will see. Well, we have to join the Brexit debate with... Uh, yeah, the Brexit uh, debate. Don't get me started no, no. Yes. on that one. I mean, you know, I've lived in London since I was about 22, so I'm... Oh, you'll be like the, the French who don't lose their accents. As well. uh, Scottish people don't lose their accents. I've worked with a number of Glaswegians in my time. Gillis, it's been lovely talking to you. We're meant to do a minute, but I mean, we've gone over uh, as ever. But thank you very much okay, for, for man, doing that. Cheers. And uh, thanks for being do in I the cast. Do I have to pay a fare now for this taxi? No, you could always tip him later on. In, 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 <laughs> take his card, you might need a taxi. Yeah. <laughs>